what's up everybody my name is Kim and today I'm gonna be asking y'all for some help to get me back into my creative uh, side been furloughed for a while so I kind of lost my creative uh, my creative juices and I made this mind map here in uh, uh, free mind just as a as a helper quick glance renewer so I like free mind uh, you can close down and open up and I'm gonna zoom out here so you just can see the whole tree so it's basically like this and you can find a link to this below you can download it for free from mega my mega cloud and uh, if you have anything you wanna see a tutorial on you need help on something please leave a comment down below and i'll see if i can't help you with it um uh, anything you have i'll highly appreciate it and um uh, like i said you can download this so it's just everything out of astrophotography um and these this is basically the most important thing is a quick look through see what they are so we have uh, light frames star frames bias frame and flat frames there is technically one more, which is uh, dark flats. I don't use those, so these are the most that most people use. That isn't dedicated astrophotographers or has a lot of equipment. So light frames is basically the image you take by pointing a camera up to the stars. And you can see I have some of my uh, quick explanation behind them. Dark frames is uh, basically a calibration frame for heat noise. So here is a very important that you shoot this either in the middle of your sub session with the lights or right after then you have bias frames which is basically a calibration frame for signal noise and you can see how to shoot them here and then flat frames which is basically a calibration frame for a gradients or vignettes in my opinion and you can see behind here how it's you can shoot them then i have some tips for the taking of exposures and you can do other stuff. Post processing softwares, I got them here, the ones I use, except for PixInsight, because that is very expensive, but it's extremely good, so I don't use this. But that is kind of more for Deep Sky. Then I have all of these helper tools here, I use them all. And then just a quick reference for white balance if you set your white balance custom with Kelvin scale. So again, I uh, go download this if you want to and leave a comment down below if you have anything you want to see a tutorial on or need help on. I uh, highly appreciate it. I need to get creative and my Milky Way season isn't here for another month or a half. And it doesn't necessarily mean it's here in a month and a half. It all depends on the weather. But uh, I'm extremely excited for that. But as of right now, kind of in a rut, need your help. So I'll see you all next time.